In this video, I'm going to explain some of the basics about working under pen names. Stay tuned. Maurice asks, do you know if there are any rules for using a pen name when writing a screenplay? When you're hired to write a screenplay for a producer, do you sign the contract with your real name and signature or your pen name and pen name signature? And Danny says he wants to publish a story under a pseudonym but wonders how to do the copyright paperwork in a way that his real name remains concealed, even in the case of litigation. Well, most of the time, writing and being credited under a pen name is simply handled by specifying the way credit should be given. Usually the contracts are made out in the writer's legal name. Sometimes we do include reference to the pen name in the opening paragraph of the contract by specifying both legal name and that professionally known as PKA. For example, if I was writing under a different name, the contract might say, this agreement is made in, uh, by and between Gigantic Productions and Gordon Firemark, PKA, William writes a lot. Then, in the section of the contract that deals with the credits, we'd be specific about how credit should read. For example, credit shall be accorded to you under the name William writes a lot. Now, the rules about choosing pen names are pretty straightforward. You can't choose a pen name that would cause confusion with another writer. That would be unfair and could lead to claims that you violated the other writer's right of publicity if it's his or her real name. Also, if you're a member of the Writers Guild, that union has specific rules about using pseudonyms. Basically, the writer has to establish and register the pseudonym with the union before starting work on a writing assignment or selling rights in a script. When you register a copyright, you do have the option to check a box indicating that the work is pseudonymous. If you write under a pseudonym and don't want to have your identity revealed in the Copyright Office's records, just give your pseudonym and identify it as such by checking the box, and leave the space for the name of the author blank. If an author's name is given on the form, it will become part of the Office's public records and can't later be removed. When you register, you still do have to provide an address so people can contact you as the copyright owner. But you can use an agent or attorney's address or a PO box for that kind of thing to help conceal your identity. But even if you register pseudonymously, if a film gets made based on your screenplay and you get paid for the script, your legal name will be on the contract, so it will come out in the discovery process if there's ever a lawsuit where that information becomes relevant. Do you like what you see here? If so, please subscribe using the button below. And if you have a question you'd like answered on this series, please go over to firemark.com questions and fill out the form.